What's up my friends? So I just got this new bed cover for my truck. It's a Gator EFX Trifold. Uh, it's a hard cover. I used to have a soft cover on my other truck. It just didn't hold up that well. So I spent a little extra money, really about three times the money on this one. And I uh, wanted to see what it would do. But here's the parts it comes with. Uh, the directions. Pretty straightforward. Like I said, it's the EFX hard fold tonneau cover. And here are some of the components. That's your clamps to clamp it down to the bed. Pretty simple to operate there. Pretty solid. Uh, it comes with these drain tubes as well that hook up and redirect any water that comes down the rails. Alright, so the first step is to attach the rails onto the bed. And this kind of shows you how that's configured. And really the only tool you need for this either uh, is a half inch socket or half inch wrench. Before you put these clamps on, you want to back the bolt off as far as you can without it coming apart. There are two different ends to your bed rails here. You want to make sure the end with this little piece here that's for the drain is facing towards the cab of the truck. And the way I did it here was start with the center clamp to make it easy. You could probably start the ends if you had a helper, but like I said, if you're doing it solo like I was here, you're going to want to start in the middle. It's just easier to balance it and get it lined up. And there's a little close-up of how it kind of fits in there and you make sure you got it on that bottom notch and with this there's also a label on that plastic part where it clamps on the rail so that makes it kind of convenient as well but like I said to get in there you see how it is how it's supposed to line up and there like I said is that label on top it says clamp right there it makes it real easy real straightforward not a problem and you just want to kind of snug it you don't want to crank it down yet and then move on to your next one and do the same thing for the rear like I said don't crank it down yet just snug it and according to the directions the top of your rail the gasket there you want it about flush with the top of the bed so that's what I did here's another angle on this one just see how I got it on there like I said, just, just to get it snug but not super tight. And then, once you got all three on, you can crank it down. You can see that gasket kind of compressing a little bit and how it's flush with the bed. Then you're just going to repeat the same steps for the other bed rail. And once you got both rails on, you're ready to put the top together. And that just kind of slides over in between the notches on the rails you just put on it's pretty straightforward you see how it fits in there right in there now there's that gasket on top and the way I did it if you can see right here just a little bit of daylight coming through there you want a little overlap there's a lip that it rests on on the front of the uh, bed itself and you got that flush there. And here's a picture of that. So you don't want it on top of that. You want it flush up against it or a little bit back. A little bit of air gap. And then the next step is we put the clamps on, which actually attaches the top to the rail system. That's pretty straightforward. You just slide that bolt in. It's got a little square head on it. And you got that little tooth right there, which fits in that groove and crank the handle down real convenient like I said just get lined up with that groove tighten it down give it a few more turns she's good and solid now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side And then there's two more towards the front of that first panel. 
So you're going to put those on. So you can see the one on the rear of the bed there. Or towards the cab, I should say. So that's the first four that you need to put on. And that's what it looks like at that point. At this time, I decided to put my little bed liner back in. It's a heavy-duty rubber mat. Keeps stuff from sliding around. Protects the bed a little bit. If you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the description. At this point, we can undo the front clips here and fold out the rest of the tunnel cover. Just like that. Got a little foam inserts that were in the packaging. Just discard those. And this is what it looks like. With it folded out, this gasket here, uh, just got to kind of feather it out a little bit from it being boxed up. But it looks like it's going to seal pretty good, as far as I can tell. And this is how the mechanism operates on the latch. A little drawstring clicks in like that. Same thing on the other side, and as well in the center section here. And you can flip it back up if you needed to haul something bigger. Now these are the drain tubes, one for each side. They pretty much leave it up to you where you want to run them, but I'm not drilling any holes in my bed, so I found this nice little slot here, convenient, and it runs right out onto the ground. No drilling required. Not drilling holes in my brand new truck, sorry. But yeah, I just kind of tucked it down in that little slot there, and once I got down in there, slid it up onto the little hose fitting that's connected to the bed rail it looks like that and we'll do the same thing on the other side and here's what it looks like when it's all done and here's the final result I went with this one this is real low profile as you can see in the pictures and the, the hard backing over the soft cover just made sense to me you can set stuff on top of it should hold up better over time the only downside I see to it is that it costs about three times more than the soft cover I used to have there you see that gasket we'll see how it does in the wet weather if it keeps the rain out like it's designed to do that's what it looks like from the rear so far I'm pretty impressed with the the ease of install and the finished product but we'll see how it does in the long term if you like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe and stick around for some more great content i really appreciate it until next time i'm back row bound <laughs>